Chris and I will be drinking exactly the same amount as each other each week, and we'll also be drinking the same type of alcohol. That way, we should see the effect of how we drink rather than what we drink. So the reason I've chosen vodka is because I don't think I can drink ten and a half pints in an evening. Nor do I. Now, the scientists we spoke to to design the test said, if we can start with three shots, that's you done, that's me started, and then I can do the rest with mixers. So that's the plan. All right? Good. All right, well... How are you feeling about this? Are you looking forward to this? I don't often get to drink with you. No, it's nice. It's, it's nice fun. to get, catch up. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Neat warm vodka isn't really my uh, tipple of choice. My last one. Cheers. It's your last drink of the evening. Really enjoy it. Three, three shots is perfect for me. It's that, that's, for me, a very nice sociable amount. There you go. Can you feel it? Yeah, I feel great. Because I know I don't have to do any more. When alcohol reaches your stomach, a small amount is absorbed into the bloodstream. However, the majority will only enter the blood when it exits the stomach and reaches the small intestine. Once in the circulation, it is taken to the liver, where it will start to be metabolised. We know how alcohol is broken down and absorbed by the body, but we still don't really know why we get hangovers. Lots of us think it's because alcohol makes us dehydrated. So I've got an idea. So here's what we're going to do this evening. You are going to drink the same amount of liquid as me. You're going to drink, for every vodka and orange I have, you're going to have an orange popped up with a shot of water. So through the evening and all through the night, we're going to collect our urine, and I reckon we'll pee exactly the same amount. OK. How are we going to collect the urine? Oh, well... Funny you should ask. Funny you should ask. We're going to use these. <laughs> Something we can resolve even faster is the impact of how we drink on our hearts. Consultant cardiologist Dr Jerry Carl White is going to show us. That's really good, yeah. So what I'll do, this is, um, it's quite safe, it's just an ultrasound, just like looking yeah. at babies and things. But what we'll do is see if we can just get a little picture of your hearts. This is remarkable. Alcohol dilates the blood vessels near the skin. As the blood volume spreads, the heart beats faster to keep oxygen flowing to our vital organs. Right, what you can see is, is on the right-hand side of the screen, you can see the main pumping chamber. And then you can see that little flappy thing halfway down. Yeah, the the Just, thing flapping yeah. there, the white flap. So that's one of the heart valves. And then the little chamber at the bottom, that's the chamber that tends to speed up or change rhythm right. when people like you guys have a little bit too much to drink. So you've got a normal heart, it's normal size, it's functioning perfectly well. That's probably because Chris finished his three units over two hours ago. As the liver can process one to two units of alcohol an hour, he'll be almost sober again by now. I've had triple that amount, and so my body is struggling to cope. And that's your heart. But I don't know if you can see. Do you see it? It's different to Chris's, right? It looks a little bit more... Um, Enthusiastic. Yeah, it's very interesting actually. I don't echo many drunken people, but I think I can see a, a clear difference here. So it's it's going quicker. The, the actual electrics are normal, it hasn't changed rhythm. It's certainly pumping a lot more vigorously than your brother. So I think even at this stage we can see a, a clear difference in what's happening. And why is it pumping harder then? So I'm, I'm still sitting in my chair doing nothing. I think what we're seeing is the direct effects of alcohol in your heart. It's increasing the amount of blood the heart's trying to pump out. It's probably putting your blood pressure up a little bit um, and it's making the heart go quicker. In the year 2000, the results of a 10-year study carried out in Scotland suggested that up to 20% more people die from heart attacks on a Monday than any other day. And the authors concluded that this was linked to heavy drinking at the weekend. Probably feeling a bit less enthused about this now. <laughs> Time for a pee. And the first chance to see if I'm right about our hydration levels. So, there you go, that's the difference. Now that is not, if you said, oh, I'm dehydrated by that much, yeah, yeah. not enough to Fair give you a hangover enough. by a long way. But, but we are nine shots in. 